Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you a few different ways on how to tuck in a shirt. With my previous video, I received a lot of questions asking if they're doing it right or what they're doing wrong. And honestly, I think they're just one step away of achieving the look, especially with a button-down shirt like this one. This is one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. I think it's probably the most used item that I have in my closet. So I thought this would be very useful for you guys and I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can and hopefully you will understand. For the first look, we're going to button down the shirt halfway. I prefer to wear this look with high-rise jeans, high-rise trousers, whatever you prefer. You can even wear this with a skirt. It looks beautiful. And what you want to do is to tuck in the half of the shirt that has the buttons. The side that is closer to your skin is going to be the side that has the buttons. So make sure that is the side that you're tucking in. And when you tuck it in, make sure that you're trying to put it as flat to the skin as you can. I think this is the mistake that most people make and is that they stop here and you need to do a little extra work. So these are my best tips on what to do next. First, you want to start pulling your shirt a little bit to make it a little bit more comfortable and make it fall like on itself so it covers any wrinkles and any messiness there. Make sure that you're folding it properly to the back so it drapes nicely in the back. And another very important thing is that the edge of the shirt has to be aligned with the zipper of your pants. If you don't do that, you're going to be able to see some skin, your stomach, or I don't know, it looks weird. So you want to make sure that it's at least aligned to the zipper or even a little bit further in. I love to layer this look. I think it gives a je ne sais quoi different to your outfits. It looks beautiful and it's a little bit different. The next look is a little bit more traditional. You're going to start by buttoning all the way down your shirt. For this one, I think it's very important that you open your pants so you can tuck in the front of your shirt. Make sure that you flatten the shirt towards your skin with the palms of your hands. If you want a little bit extra explanation on this, you can go to my previous video, but just make sure that you tuck in the front of your shirt properly and then you can close your pants. After that, you just want to start pulling your shirt a little bit, but just do it on one side. I like to do this on my left side. Start pulling and start fixing your shirt. See how it looks. See if you want to pull a little bit more. And if the back of your shirt is a little bit too long, remember that you can always tuck in the longest part of the tail in the back. But try to leave the back a little bit longer so you can see a difference between the front and the back and you don't get the illusion that you just tuck in your shirt all the way around. Okay, so for the next look, you want to unbutton all of your shirt, just leave the one that is on your chest, and we're going to start by folding your shirt in the back. So fold it underneath, make sure it's flat so you don't get any bulges there or it doesn't look messy, and then make a knot with both sides of the shirt. I think that when you leave the button when you're doing the knot, makes that the end result is better, but don't worry, once you do the second knot, you can go ahead and unbutton your shirt and loosen the knot a little bit, and this looks amazing on top of a dress in summer. I personally love to wear this as a layer, but you can wear it however you want. So as I said, just loosen up the knot a little bit, make it more comfortable. You want to be comfortable for this look. For the next one, we're going to start from here. So what you want to do is loosen up the knot a little bit more so you can tuck the knot in the front of your pants and then because we previously folded the shirt it's going to be super easy to just tuck it in with your hands 
and you're going to get a completely different look with a completely different vibe and it's super easy to make and it's super easy to change in between you can also wear this as a layer or you can use a nice bralette underneath however you prefer The next look doesn't work with all of the shirts. I tried to do it with my white shirt and it didn't work. I think you need a softer fabric for this, but you basically want to do the same thing. I clearly didn't fold my shirt properly in the back, but ideally you would. The only difference is that you're going to start with everything open. Don't leave any buttons here. And once you do the first knot, you, you want to take the piece that is on the top and put it underneath your bra, your top, or whatever it is that you're using. And then you can go ahead and do the second knot. I think this looks amazing for summer with a bathing suit. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute and so pretty that I wanted to include it in this video. As I told you, a white shirt is a staple in my closet, it's one of my favorite key pieces. Let me know in the comments which is that piece that is key for you, key in your closet and that you love and use all the time. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!